All right, in this last section of our notes, we're gonna be talking about a third type of division. We've talked about mitosis and meiosis. We do mitosis to heal and grow, and we do meiosis so that we can have offspring. And now we're gonna look at what happens whenever organisms aren't multicellular. They are unicellular, like bacteria. So because bacteria are unicellular, so the whole organism is just one cell big, when they divide, it's not to heal and grow. When they divide, it is to make more of themselves. So they, they divide to reproduce. Now, when they divide, you're gonna end up with daughter cells that are identical to the parent cell, just like mitosis. But we don't call this mitosis because mitosis is for healing and growing. This is for making new organisms. So we have a special name for this type of division. It is called binary. So bi means two, binary. And since we have one cell and it's gonna split in two, it's called fission. Remember, fusion means to come together. Fission means to split apart. So we have a parent cell that copies its DNA. So now you can see there's two molecules of DNA in there. The cell splits in half and we have two daughter cells. And again, this is to make more of themselves. So when it only takes one parent, one organism to make the next generation, like we see here, this is a type of reproduction, but it's not sexual reproduction. It is a type of asexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction. All right, now you can see here that bacteria just have one chromosome and it's circular. And it doesn't take them long to copy one chromosome and then split in two because they're very um, simple cells, not like eukaryotic cells that are more complex. It only takes them about 20 minutes to reproduce. Now, that's an advantage because they can reproduce very quickly, but there is a disadvantage, is that since these daughter cells look identical to the original cell, there is no genetic variation. There's no genetic variation. From one generation to the next. Now, bacteria aren't the, other, aren't the only organisms that can reproduce asexually. There's other ones that can asexually reproduce. When you take a cutting off of a plant to get it to root, then that is a type of asexual reproduction. If you take the potato buds that are starting to form on a potato and plant it, that is a type of asexual reproduction. You are just making new organisms that are from another organism. They're gonna be genetically identical. If I take some of my plants and I take 10 cuttings off and I plant them and I make them root out, now I have 10 plants. They'll be genetically identical to the original plant which I took them off, okay? Remember, binary fission is bacteria. Is bacteria. Sorry, my writing is not very good on this. Okay, so again, in asexual reproduction, you need to know it only takes one parent, but the offspring are genetically identical to the parent. There's no genetic uh, variation. They are identical to the parent. In sexual reproduction, we know that it takes two parents, and each individual has to be able to do meiosis in order to make those gametes, those reproductive cells that have half their genetic information. And we definitely see the children, the offspring, the next generation are gonna be genetically different. So they're gonna have genetic variations that are unique to them. They are not identical to the parents. All right. Moving on to um, the next page here. 
Now that we know a little bit about asexual reproduction, we're gonna look at the advantages of asexual compared to sexual reproduction. Now remember we talked about bacteria when they divide to make new bacteria, it only takes one parent, one organism to produce the next generation. And since it's so easy for them to reproduce, um, it takes considerable less time. And also it's gonna take less energy because an organism that just reproduces on their own, they don't have to find a mate. So therefore they don't have to spend any energy, you know, trying to look for a mate or outcompete other suitors for a mate. Um, there's only one needed to reproduce, so you don't even have to find an, a mate. That gives them an advantage if they are living in a non-changing environment. They can divide quickly, and so their population can grow very quickly in a non-changing environment. Now, there is an issue because if the environment does change, organisms that reproduce asexually, they're all identical to one another genetically. They have no genetic variation. And so if there is a change in the environment, it might ripe, wipe out all in the population because they're all exactly the same. They have all the same traits. So they could all die due to a change in the environment. So that would be a disadvantage. Okay. Now the disadvantages for one, so the disadvantages for asexual reproduction are the advantages for sexual reproduction. So if you think about it, Populations that reproduce sexually, they do have genetic variation. And if there is a change in environment, odds are there's going to be some individuals that have different characteristics, unique variations that will help them survive better in that changing environment. So in a changing environment, it's better to reproduce sexually because you're going to get some variations that will increase chances of survival. But here's the disadvantages. Okay. So again, the disadvantages for one are the advantages for the other. So bacteria, it only takes 20, 20, or sorry, it takes two minutes and they have brand new bacteria. Um, for sexually reproducing populations, it usually takes a considerable more time to get offspring. So it takes a lot more time to sexually reproduce. It also takes more energy. And some of that is due to, because it takes two, you have to find a mate. So it'll take energy to find a mate. Sometimes you have to fight off competitors for that mate. Then organisms have to carry those offspring um, until they're developed and that's gonna take lots of energy. So it takes more time, it takes more energy, and sometimes you have to, or you have to find a mate and that can be difficult. So those are the disadvantages to sexual reproduction.